Zhenjiang is a beautiful city situated along the lower reaches of the Yangtze River. With a good mix of modern buildings as well as old local communities with over 40 years scattered around every corner of the city. While enjoying the abundant water resources brought by the Yangtze River, the residents here suffered from the urban water logging problems. Moreover, the rapid urbanization process has intensified the problems of urban water logging. From 2015, the Yangtze River has been used to build the Yangtze River to solve the water and old cities of the Yangtze River. These green facilities that were used for the retention, purification, and draining of rainwater are based on the flood control and prevention experiences from countries in North America, Europe, and the Asia-Pacific region. The residents can now stroll freely on streets where puddles used to infest during rainy days. At the same time, New pipelines, cables, buildings, and other infrastructures within the communities are also built and rejuvenated. Developers and engineers built these facilities based on the residents' feedback, which not only make their community spaces and landscapes more attractive and appealing, but also ensure that their streets, entertainment areas, and parking spaces are optimized. 我们整个城市在这样的改造以后，人民的生活得到了很大的方便。The surface runoffs of the retention and purification by the green facilities has created beautiful waterfront landscaping, which enhances the entire cityscape. 在海绵设施建设施工的过程当中，也增加了建筑的外立面出新、呃道路的更新、市政管道的改造等等。Mengjiawan Wetland Park, an area formerly known for its pits and puddles during rainy days, has now transformed into a great entertainment spot for the residents. Its water sources mainly come from the surface runoffs purified through the man-made wetlands. The tri-level man-made wetland in the Hongqiaogang Wetland Park is able to purify odorous wastewater in drains. With the engineer's thoughtful design and architecture, the wetland itself is an impressive waterfront landscape in the park. Due to the impact on the city from global climate change, the designers and architects of the Sponge City must have contingency plans in place to respond to emergencies such as extreme weathers and disasters. Under the PPP project, a total of seven drainage pumping stations were constructed, which can discharge over 100 cubic meters of surface runoffs per second. They are also equipped with the capability to fight against heavy rainstorms. To prevent rainfall runoffs on stormy days from polluting the Jinshan Lake, the largest landscape lake and alternative water source, CSO pollution control pipes with large diameters are constructed under the PPP project. These pipes, measuring 6.5 kilometers long, have diameters as wide as 4 meters can collect and store initial rainfall runoffs on stormy days before transporting the rainwater to the man-made wetland on the North River Bank for mid-term to long-term purification. This can effectively prevent flood and initial rainfall pollution even when confronted with the heaviest rainstorms that occur only once in 50 years. The joint venture undertaking the PPP project now has over 40 employees who are deeply involved with the local communities in spreading environmental protection concepts and receiving feedback from the residents on the project.
the experiences and lessons learned during the construction of the Sponge City have been documented in the Specialized Planning and Construction Standards and will be applied in all the urban construction and upgrading projects in Jinjiang City.